Japan is dropping a gargantuan turbine into the ocean to harness limitless energy and the prototype is doing well. Deep beneath the waves there is a source of power, quite unlike any other. To tap into it, Japanese engineers constructed a true leviathan, a beast capable of withstanding the strongest of ocean currents to transform its flow into a virtually limitless power supply for electricity. Ishikawajima Harima Heavy Industries, now known simply as HIA, uh, sorry, IHI Corporation, has been tinkering with the technology for over a decade now, partnering with New Energy and Industrial Technology Development Organization, NIDO, in 2017 to put their designs to the test. In February, the project passed a major milestone with the completion of a successful three and a half year field test in the waters off Japan's southwestern coast. A 330-ton prototype is called Kaiyiru, a word that translates more or less into ocean current. Its structure consists of a 20-meter or 66-foot-long fuselage flanked by a pair of similar-sized cylinders, each housing a power-generating system attached to an 11-meter-long turbine blade. When tethered to the ocean floor by an anchor, an anchor line and power cables, the device can orient itself to find the most efficient position to generate power from the push of a deep water current and channel it into the grid. Japan is a country heavily reliant on importing fossil fuels to generate a significant power of it, uh, amount of its power, with public sentiment towards nuclear power souring in the wake of the 2011 Fukushima nuclear disaster, Japan is motivated to use its technological powers and the prowess to take advantage of renewable energy sources. Unfortunately, the mountainous Japanese archipelago provides little scope for vast forests of wind turbines or fields of solar panels. With a location far from neighboring countries, there's also less opportunity to balance the fluctuations in renewables through energy trade. And one thing the nation does have is vast stretches of coastal water. To the east, the ocean swirls under the might of the North Pacific Gyre, where the Gyre meets Japan. It's channeled into a relatively strong flow called the Kiroshio Current. AIHI estimates that the energy present in the current could be harnessed. It could feasibly generate around 205 gigawatts of electricity, an amount it claims is in the same ballpark as the country's current power generation. That's amazing. The enormous amount of potential in the ocean's tumultuous movements is also what makes it so hard to use as a power source. The fastest flowing waters are near the surface, which also happens to be where typhoons can easily destroy power stations. Kairu, Kairu was designed to hover roughly 50 meters below the waves, that's about 150 feet below the waves, and as it floats towards the surface, the drag created pro provides the necessary torque in the turbines. Each of the blades rotates in a po uh, opposing direction as well, keeping the device relatively stable. In a flow of 2 to 4 knots, around 1 to 2 meters per second, Kairu was founded to be capable of churning out about 100 kilowatts uh, of power, a total of 100 kilowatts of power, and compared with an average offshore wind turbine 3.6 megawatts, it might seem like small sparks, but with demonstrated success at withstanding what nature can throw at it, Kairu, Kairu could soon have a monster sibling swinging 20 meters long turbines to generate more respectable 2 megawatts. If all goes to plan, we might see a farm of power generators feeding electricity into the grid sometime next decade. Whether Kairu can uh, indeed scale up is left to be seen. In spite of huge interest in this relatively underutilized research of renewable energy, attempts to wring watts out of the tides, waves and currents of the open ocean typically end in failure. High engineering costs, environmental limitations, proximity of coastal areas to the grid, all manner of challenges need to be overcome to see projects like this through. If IHI Corporation can overcome them, there are kaiju-sized benefits to reap, with ocean power potentially providing anywhere from 40 to 70% of Japan's energy needs. 
with advances in material science and a better understanding of the marine environment, somebody is bound to overcome the litany of problems to harness the ocean's vast supply of energy. And this was originally published in Science Alert, the Sun Collector Spark. The thing is that if it's, uh, uh, what, uh, 50 feet below the surface, I mean, this is where you have a marine life as well. Uh, orcas, uh, whales, sharks, and uh, schools of fish. Uh, how do people fish if we have these things around there? I guess they have to have special maps. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.